There's a lot of hard-hitting questions that people like to ask. What is the meaning of life? How expansive is the universe? How do the people who write parking tickets fall asleep at night? But today, we're going to be answering some much more light-hearted questions, such as... Bananas. What's the story with you? Well, what can I say? I just really like bananas. I mean, they're so versatile. What can't you do with bananas? You can put them in smoothies, milkshakes. You can bake stuff with them like banana bread or banana muffins. You can slice them up and put them on things like waffles or pancakes. And have you ever eaten dried bananas? Uh, yummers. What is the correlation between your shirt color choice and video topic? There is no correlation to the specific videos per se. The only thing is that the videos have to be in the same order. Blue, red, yellow, and then green. And I can only assume that by this point, I've been doing it so long, that if I ever broke that order, something terrible would happen. What would you consider to have been the best time for collecting or just gaming in general? Today, my friend, you gotta seize the moment and live in the present. Wake up every morning thinking today is gonna be a great day to be a fan of video games. Do you play modern JRPGs? No, but I'm not necessarily against it, and if you were to count something like that triangle strategy game, I am definitely going to be playing that. What console do you recommend collecting for on a small budget? The Game Boy, that is, if you like it, which unfortunately a lot of people don't. You have a lot of footage of shoot-em-ups in your videos. What are your top five shooters? That would be Batsugan, Tsukyu Garentai, Dodonpachi, Thunder Force 4, and the original R-Type. Do you remember the day and the key moment you said, today is going to be the day. I want to upload my first video. Did you have any expectation with your first vid? I always wanted to make a YouTube channel. I've been watching... Uh, retro gaming YouTube channels since about 2010, 2009 or so. And it wasn't something I just decided one day. It, it took a couple months of planning to sort of figure out what I wanted to do for this channel. And as far as expectations go, I just didn't want people to think that I was an idiot, at least not in a bad way. In a good way, thinking I'm an idiot? Absolutely. When you play games with other people, what do you prefer? Co-op games, pass the controller type of games. I'm not really into competitive games because it just seems a lot less friendly and I'm not into that. What are your thoughts on flash carts like the EverDrive? I think they're a great option, especially if you're looking for a way to not have to hunt down and pay for games individually, which is really one of the biggest things that can make collecting so darn expensive. How do you think people will collect games in the future when the current games will be retro? They won't. Well, at least certainly not the way they do now. Would like to get your take on retro PC games. I'm not into them personally, but that doesn't mean I don't respect them. I know they're very important to a lot of people, and I think that's great. Next question. Why don't you ever talk about or show consoles like Atari 2600 or ColecoVision? Is it lack of interest or is it just not what you think your audience is into? Kind of all of the above. I don't own any of those. If I own them, I would show them, but I don't buy things or talk about things unless I'm passionate about them. So I'm not going to force myself to try to fake passion for them. Although I do at some point want to talk about how I do think it is sad that they don't get talked about because they are very historically significant. How did you come up with your end of video theme song? Well, so my friend agreed to sing the outro and so I just thought of what I thought would sound fun for him to sing because I sort of know his style and what he's capable of and so I just thought, yeah, I think this would probably sound fun if he sang this. Seller's Remorse. Have you ever sold a game or console and later regretted it? Yes, and the one that's really on my mind right now is Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. I was going through some old eBay receipts and I had purchased that game for 13 bucks back in 2013. Sold it for some reason and I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get it back at some point for a good deal. Why do you do that one thing that you always do in every video? You know, the thing. Everyone loves it and it's hilarious. Almost won you the Grammy this year, as I recall. I actually don't know what 
that person's talking about. So if you could help me out, maybe some of you know. What are your thoughts on the analog pocket? It's probably good. I haven't used it personally, but analog makes good stuff. Favorite unpopular game, Altered Beast. And least favorite popular game, probably some of the modern stuff like Assassin's Creed series like that. What would you say are your top five favorite YouTube gaming related channels or maybe ones you think need more attention? Well, I'll say this, I've pretty much watched all of them <laughs> dating back, you know, over 10 years now and I don't actively dislike any of them. I know that a lot of effort and passion goes into those videos to help build up the retro gaming community and they would not make the videos otherwise. So I applaud all of them for their effort. What is your opinion on the Double Dragon games? I like them, but I do prefer other beat-em-ups more. Is there a specific console generation or time period where the perception of retro games went from outdated kids' toys to cool collectibles? Or was it just a gradual thing over time? Yeah, it was sort of gradual, but I'd say it really kind of got going around the seventh generation. What would you rather see Nintendo come out with for the Nintendo Switch? A new F-Zero game or a new Star Fox game? A new Star Fox game, although I see no reason why they can't do both of those eventually. What sort of features are you most excited about to see when a retro game gets re-released? Uh, for me, the coolest thing I ever saw was when Ninja Warriors got remade, essentially, they added in two-player co-op mode where originally the Super Nintendo game only had single player. What's your favorite Castlevania game and what did you think of the Netflix anime? So it's very close, but I'd probably say Rondo of Blood, but really there's like five Castlevania games that are kind of all right there at the top together. And as far as the anime, I typically don't watch those, but if I ever did, that's probably one that I would. What is your proudest retro gaming purchase? Rocket Knight Adventures in the box with the manual, which I typically don't do that for Sega Genesis games. Do you think physical media for games will disappear in the future and will it all be cloud-based? I don't know about the cloud, but as far as physical releases go, there seems to be a really strong dedicated fan base that will always crave that. And wherever there's money to be made, typically there's people trying to make that money. Bananas are a good source of several vitamins and minerals. Which is your favorite and why? All of them are my favorite. And the most important thing that bananas have to me is magic. What is your preferred method of acquiring games for your collection? These days it's just eBay, which isn't a very exciting answer, but I used to go to flea markets and I just don't have the time or patience for that anymore. What is a title or titles you have revisited to scratch that nostalgia itch and ended up being disappointed? None of them, honestly, it always seems to turn out well. What is the cutoff point where you personally draw the line at retro slash not retro? The Dreamcast, that's just always what I've thought of. Did you ever have a desire when you were younger, or even now, to pick up some of the more obscure consoles? Yes, I had a PC Engine Duo at one point, really enjoyed it, but sold it just because the idea of the laser in it breaking kind of stressed me out. Yeah, I probably could have fixed the laser, but... Uh, and I actually tried to order a ColecoVision, but it never got shipped to me, and I never tried again to get it, so... You're the reincarnation of Donkey Kong, aren't you? I wish I was. I'm terribly jealous of his banana horde. How did you decide on your name, Retro Bird? Well, retro, I just always thought was a really fun word. And then the bird part of it, I just tried to think of something that was really unintimidating. What are your thoughts on the current state of Nintendo? They are who they are. You take the good with the bad. What are some of your favorite games or style of games to play with your wife or with kids? Light gun games are a lot of fun and also Nintendo Land, Mario Chase, a lot of fun. Does playing old arcade games on emulators fundamentally change the experience? Yes, but if you can at least get an arcade stick, that does help a lot. What convinced you to start collecting video games? Well, I wanted to play video games and at the time collecting them just seemed like the most natural way to do it. Have you perfected the ketchup water recipe yet? No, and I'm not even close, but I haven't given up. 
Which sixth generation console do you like the best? The GameCube by a lot, although I do like all of them. What advice do you have for someone who is considering starting a channel on retro games? Be patient and only do it if it's fun for you. What kind of pricey expensive games have you bought and why did you decide to buy them? Are there any stories that go along with them? Yes, Panzer Dragoon Saga. I bought it back in 2015 and at the time I just went into my closet got all sorts of stuff that I knew I was never going to use again, sold it all, and it covered the cost completely. What is your favorite part or some highlights that are the result of starting this channel? I've talked about this before, but it's got to be the comments that you all leave. Speaking of which, how about you leave some of those comments for me? I guess it could just be your reactions to some of my answers or maybe some follow-up questions of things that I could help clarify, like why did I buy a ColecoVision if I wasn't interested in it? Things like that. So as always, leave those comments down below and I will see you in the next video. He's the Red Cooper, yeah. And he's talking, talking about video games. He's the Red Cooper, oh yes. Any post that you like.